Director James Wan has crafted two of the most iconic modern day supernatural horror franchises. But which of these two will stand the test of time? Stick around to find out. Hello ladies and gentlemen and movie lovers of all kind and welcome to another cinema showdown. As always, I am your host, Brett Murphy, so without further ado, let's hop right into things. It seems like every major studio nowadays is looking to create the next big universe or franchise. Now while most are unsuccessful and fall flat on their face, these two have done a very solid job at dominating the horror genre. But with a shared universe or franchise there needs to be continuity. The Conjuring universe has had a lot more to juggle when it comes to proper continuity. It currently has 7 films spanning multiple decades and in various locations all around the world. But they have done a nearly seamless job. Even if it's just subtle nods, like Valak the Nun being featured in a photo in Annabelle Creation, or some characters like Father Perez appearing in both the original Annabelle and The Curse of Lyorna, or even big reveals like the character Frenchie from The Nun being revealed to be the man found in the exorcism video that was featured very heavily in the two Conjuring films. Almost everything will all lead right back to Ed and Lorraine Warren, and of course their creepy room of haunted things. That room is quite literally where this entire universe comes from. But the Insidious universe feels a lot more tight knit when it comes to connectivity. They are all directly connected in one way or another, and they fill in all of their time gaps quite nicely. And that is almost all exclusively due to the fact that they keep the same small primary cast. Whether it's through flashbacks or entire movies, we see things like how Elise helped Josh when he was a little boy, how Tucker and Specs teamed up with Elise, or things like how she released the red-faced demon who was the primary antagonist from the first Insidious film. When you look at the Insidious franchise and where it has gone, this is most definitely Elise's story. We see her entire past leading right back up to the first Insidious film, and of course where it leads after that. All in all, it can be broken down like this. You must commend the Conjuring universe for all of their work, making sure all of their movies are connected in some way. The Insidious films, however, are much more streamlined. It feels as though you are watching one large flowing story, even though it is not always told in the most conventional way. The Conjuring universe might have a tougher time due to that constant expansion, but that doesn't mean that they get an automatic pass. Even sometimes these little twists and reveals seem shoehorned in, in order to maintain that continuity and fill in the gaps that they themselves created. While the Insidious franchise might not be done just yet, so far they have maintained an easy to follow and directly connected series of movies. Therefore, round one is going to go to the Insidious franchise. Again, the Conjuring universe's extra few flicks give them a few more monsters to work with, especially when it comes to movies like Annabelle Comes Home, which feels like it was strictly made so it could set up more spin-offs. But is it always the more the merrier? The notable ghouls, goblins, and demons from the Conjuring universe are of course the haunted doll Annabelle, the nun Valak, Lyorna, the crooked man, and newcomers like the fairy man, the bride, and the werewolf demon. Some of the biggest heavy hitters in horror today. The Insidious franchise takes a much more whimsical approach when it comes to their monsters, making them vastly different from their Conjuring Universe counterparts. They have just simply not had anywhere near the same cultural impact that the Conjuring Universe monsters have. I mean most of their monsters don't even have real definitive names. Despite the Conjuring Universe's downfalls, they have certainly done one thing right, and that is give us unforgettable monsters. Round 2 is going to go to the Conjuring Universe. Ed and Lorraine Warren are undeniably the heart and soul of the Conjuring universe. They kicked it all off and are by far the most interesting, but they really only play a key role in the first two Conjuring films. The rest of the characters kind of just come and go, never really reprising the roles in any other sequel or prequels. The Insidious franchise, however, is almost the complete polar opposite. They maintain a pretty consistent cast throughout. Elise, Spex, and Tucker appear in all four films. This franchise is essentially theirs. While the Conjuring universe may have given us more films and a lot more people to meet and greet, that doesn't make them necessarily better. In this case, less is more, and that gives us a lot more time to spend with and get to know these characters. Therefore, round 3 is going to go to the Insidious franchise. 
I will start by saying that I know that everyone has their own individual scareometer. Some people are scared of just about everything, and others it takes quite a lot to unnerve them. The Conjuring universe has conjured up a total of seven flicks in its universe so far, and only about three, well actually probably like two and a half, have actually been moderately scary. Those being the first Conjuring, Annabelle creation, and a little bit of The Conjuring 2. The rest are just jump scare fests, which are the complete opposite of scary people. You have to realize, jump scares aren't scary, and these movies really still haven't seemed to recognize that yet. As for the Insidious franchise, they're doing just about as well. The first film was actually one of my main introductions into the horror genre, and is by far the best in the franchise. The second I find to be more of a mystery thriller rather than a full-blown horror. The third one definitely has its moments, and that mostly comes from the fact that the main character Quinn is trapped into her wheelchair almost the entire time. The Conjuring universe has had more chances to really bring the scares, and they've done just about as well as the Insidious franchise, which has only had four films. The first Insidious was the big intro into the horror genre for me, but the first Conjuring may actually be the scariest movie I've ever watched. This is by far the toughest and most subjective round yet, but I'm going to have to give this round to The Conjuring Universe. Decades down the road, when the 2010s become what the 80s are to this generation, which of these franchises will stand the test of time? With the iconic characters like Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Leatherface, and Chucky, who are very much still a major part of today's pop culture, which one of these franchises will find that special place in our hearts? The Conjuring Universe once again currently has seven films under its belt, and at this current moment has The Conjuring 3, The Nun 2, The Crooked Man, and probably many the others on the way. And once again, the Insidious franchise currently has four movies out and a rumored fifth one on the way. Their movies have all stayed in the same timeline and they have all fallen under the Insidious title and have really just avoided spin-offs altogether, which puzzles me due to the fact that some of their demons are very unique. Nevertheless, we can trace all of this back to one man, director James Wan. He must be thrilled and proud to know that two of his franchises have defined an entire generation of horror. So many things can go into a round like this that it's very difficult to choose a winner. The Insidious franchise has maintained a better continuity, where so far it has felt like one long flowing story spanning four films. But the Conjuring universe has the name recognition on their side, like Ed and Lorraine Warren, and has crafted much more memorable monsters. It seems like the Insidious hype train has really died down, while the Conjuring universe may have just hit its stride. Therefore, I'm going to have to give the fifth and final round and the crown to the Conjuring universe. Please leave a like if you're enjoying the cinema showdowns, and comment below what battles you'd like to see in the future. I love hearing what you guys have to say, so don't be shy. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and that's a wrap. Hey you, yeah you, if you made it this far, just know I appreciate you, and while you're here, consider hitting that subscribe button.